Hi, welcome to the fourth episode of Zamflix. Um, my name is Sarah and I am the Applications and Marketing Intern here at Zoom America. And I am joined today again with Nate, who is the Training Specialist. And we're gonna be talking about the EOT tools. Happy to be here. Awesome, so can you start with telling us what EOT stands for? EOT, it stands for Electric Oscillating Tool. All right, um, we got many different EOT tools. It kind of makes us unique throughout the industry. We got three different EOTs starting out, um, half millimeter, millimeter, and two and a half millimeter. And when you say half millimeter, millimeter, and two and a half, that's the way, that's how far the blade oscillates down. Yep, yeah, the, the jigsaw, the amount that it goes, so. Perfect, so let's start off with the smaller two. So the half and the millimeter, they're used for what kind of applications? Uh, yeah, the half inch, or not the half inch, the half millimeter, uh, that's going for, you know, corrugated, thin stuff, stuff that's not really super dense. Right. You know, you don't need a lot of strength to puncture through mm -hmm. it. And, uh, you know, high intricacy type of... So a lot of detail. A lot of detail, yeah. I mean, by all means, I could get most of the stuff done with the Drake blade that these can do, but to get the twists and turns involved with some of the boxes and shapes that you cut out, mm -hmm. you kind of have to go to an oscillating tool. So. Um, half inch, or I keep saying that half inch, half millimeter. Uh, <laughs> it goes faster, obviously, right. because it's oscillating like that. Right. Um, only a half millimeter at a time. One millimeter, you know, it goes a little bit slower, but by all means, we have different knives out there right. that can increase your speed. And it all depends and on so. what you're cutting, how you want to cut it, everything like that. Yeah, how the cut looks after it's done exactly. cutting. You know, if you go too fast with like a half millimeter like this, you can see like jagged edges. Mm -hmm. So using different knives, changing your speeds, saving those with our, our software that we mm -hmm. have so you don't have to remember all that stuff again. Um, so that's its part, definitely. So what are some of the blades that you use with these tools? Uh, this half millimeter mm -hmm. one, by all means, both of these use the same blades. Okay. Right, so whatever your application is, we got a, we got a shop there showing all the different blades that each of these tools can use. Um, <clears throat> 20, 21, 22, those are like the main three that always get sent with. So I'll just start out with those, right? Nice and thin, intricate detail. Right. Okay. Right, not a lot of overcut naturally with the Z20. Then you go up to the 21. It's a little stronger, a little more overcut naturally with it. And then the 22 is like the strongest, but the most overcut mm -hmm. naturally that it has. Uh, but then you start getting into like these 41s, 42, 43s. Nice thing about these guys is, um, you know, it, it has like a small pre-cut. Mm -hmm. So it's kind of off-centered. It's, 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 it's back a little bit right. from where the center of the knife actually should occur. So it's gonna have less overcut but the nice thing about this is there is like a back cut with mm -hmm. it. So not having it go to like a tip, you can go faster because right. of that. But plus you can use it for applications like fabric, let's say, mm -hmm. right? There's uh, uh, threads and stuff in there and with a tip blade, it's just gonna miss those. Right, so it chops almost through the material, but in a way that's still cutting very, very intricately. Intricately and fast mm -hmm. still. Right. Right, because you have that back cut, so it's mm -hmm. like it's already done it, but let's hit it again. Right, exactly. Basically, so that's what's nice about these guys. So I love these. Whenever I'm grabbing, uh, or whenever I'm cutting stuff from corrugated mm -hmm. or just high intricacy, these are what I'm grabbing for sure. Right, for sure. And this is something that we made um, with an EOT .5, I believe, on yep. some e flute. E flute, yep. Nice and easy stuff. Thin stuff. You know, there's radiuses that I'm always looking for when right. I'm cutting this stuff out. It just wouldn't work the same with a drag blade. Yeah, exactly. It'll smush it. Like if you stick a knife in some material and just right. spin it. Yeah. Right, it's going to smush it around. With this being oscillating mm -hmm. like it is, yeah, it might not remove itself completely out of the material, but it's not going to like smush it as right. much as what the, the drag blade would do. For sure. So, yeah, whenever I'm cutting boxes, for sure, these are the go-tos. Mm -hmm. So the next one, a lot bigger, it's the 250. So what, other than the stroke length, what makes the 250 different? 
Uh, it's stronger, for sure, for one. Um, it, it, you can get through denser materials because of that. Uh, it can accept thicker blades. Mm -hmm. These two, the EOT 0.5 and 1.0, they go 0.6 millimeter thick blades, mm -hmm. and that's it. But with this one, we have a shim that we can use with these guys. Right. But naturally, it has like a 1.5 millimeter slot. Okay. So having stronger blades, mm -hmm. less or uh, more stability because of that. So less deflections and flexes around radiuses right. and stuff like that. And this one actually has some pretty unique blades, right? Yeah, we just came out with some of these new blades. I love these things. Um, you know, same going from 0.5 to 1.0. Mm -hmm. Normally, you got to go slower because of that. Mm -hmm. And the same applies for the 2.5. Right. Uh, so. Having a blade like the 201, 202, 203, it's got a wider flat head to it. It's not mm -hmm. really flat, but it's rounded. Right. Um, so naturally, it's going to be able to speed it up. Right. You know, it's hitting more per oscillation. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, I I think we run these at like 40 inches a second. Yeah, pretty I've fast. Those at 40 before. So, and that's actually a patented geometry, correct? This is a patented geometry, which is really sweet. So if anyone's anyone's knowledgeable about routing you can have up cut or down cut bits but mm -hmm. also bits that send the material right in the middle mm -hmm. of the material and that's what these do they're specially designed to work with this EOT 250 to be able to just not lift up the edges and right. push down through the bottom it just sends it to the middle so you get a nice even clean cut. edge right and and while still cutting at mm -hmm. 40 inches a second with a thick blade that's going to be strong and last mm -hmm. long and to so cut with usually with the 250 you cut a, you're cutting zanita board thick foam core half inch material stuff like that yep yep thicker stuff like that definitely just the more power that you need by all means it could do e flute and b flute just mm -hmm. as well but uh yeah for the more denser stuff like zanita mm -hmm. and balcony board and stuff like that works great love that thing so a little bit of maintenance involved with all these things of course just like any machines out there but uh by all means, they can do a lot for you to be able to get intricate cuts mm -hmm. on all these different shapes that our machines can cut. Perfect. So what are the main um, like areas of business that use these tools? Packaging. Packaging? For the most part. Okay. Yeah, most definitely. Um, graphics to a degree, uh, but otherwise we're, we're getting more into leather as well. Mm -hmm. So that's going to be a huge industry that we're going to be developing throughout the next few years here, definitely. Right. So EOT1 is real good for that. And we got the, the knives for all that stuff already developed and a great team that's making sure all that stuff's dialed in. Awesome. Well, thank you so much for coming today and talking to everybody about the EOT tools. So um, make sure to watch us um, on social media, follow us on all of our different channels to make sure you can see the next Amplix episode as soon as it comes out. So, thank you for watching. Thanks.